Ooh. <laughs> right back at him? Yeah, that would have hit him for sure. <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about building your baseball IQ with the Win Reality app. So if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I'm a former pro baseball player. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I talk a ton about baseball IQ because I think it's really important because that's how you maximize your physical abilities and all the skills that you work so hard in the gym and in the batting cage and on the mound, et cetera. You maximize those by being a smart ball player. So this is a partner video with Win Reality, and I'm using their app to talk about two important things. Number one, how you can use their situational hitting mode, which is called exhibition mode, to work on your baseball IQ as a hitter, and how you can use live pitch mode, which is a way for you to pitch to your friends and work on pitch calling and pitch sequences, and basically try to compete against each other as if you're a pitcher versus a hitter. So first, let's talk about situational hitting. This is something that's difficult for us coaches to teach because it's something that's only usually done either in inner squads or in actual games. And obviously in the winter and when it's really cold out, you can't get that many reps to work on situational hitting unless you have like a huge indoor dome you have access to where you can play inner squad or a coach, you know, you could do like a simulated game where a coach is going to put runners on, tell you the outs, the score, and then you're going to have to think your way through it. Obviously watching baseball and softball games is super important. That's when you can work on this and think through it. Like, hey, you're watching the Cubs and Cardinals. You know, the winning runs on third. You know, what would you do at the plate here given two outs and first and second base is open? What, what's your job as a hitter there, right? Well, with the Win Reality app, in their exhibition mode, you can be placed in those situations. You know, it'll be bottom of the ninth, you're down two, and you've got no one on, or you got first and second. And then you have to think, what can I do here to maximize my, my chances of getting those runners home? Now, here's the thing with situational hitting and baseball IQ in general. You can always just cheat this, right? When I play this, because I'm an old guy and I don't have much at stake, if I'm doing, you know, exhibition mode, I might just be like, I'm just going to try to hit a dinger every single time up. And that's a, the wrong thing to do if you're a young player and you're actually trying to become more valuable to your team, especially in youth baseball, amateur baseball, players who aren't as big, that's not a viable strategy. If you're not one of the big, strong players who can reliably hit it over the outfielders' heads, you do need to hit line drives over the infield. If you're trying to always loft it, you're going to fly out way too much if you don't have tons and tons of power where you can miss hit the ball and get it over the outfielders' head. So situational hitting really becomes crucial if you're a small, a smaller player especially, where you can add value to your team by you know, hitting that sack fly when that's what's really needed or hitting the ball to the right side to move runners over or, you know, just looking line drive to the right side or to the right half of the field, trying to maximize your chances, even if you don't hit the ball as well as you want to and get that actual line drive or whatever. So situational hitting is something you can practice. I think the exhibition mode is a great way to do this if you can't get outside with your team. And look, lots of us can the winter. Even when I had my baseball academy, that was something that we couldn't simulate that well. You know, we could do live at-bats in like uh, our narrow batting tunnels, but it just kind of wasn't the same. And again, you just use whatever tools you have available to you. So if this is something that you're interested in, I think it works pretty well. But again, as a hitter, you still have to do the work yourself. And that means don't just go through the motions and try to hit dingers. Actually think, okay, here's the situation in front of me. What should I do if I'm trying to advance runners while also maximizing? maximizing my likelihood of getting hit. What's the pitcher likely to throw me in this situation, right? Think through it and do what you'd actually do if a really important game was on the line. The second mode that I really like in the Win Reality app is live pitch. And this is basically where you take your phone, you know, you've got the Win Reality app on this sucker and you just link it up. And so you can sit there and call the game and call the pitches while your buddy is trying to hit off you. And this is the same thing. You know, you could just throw curveball, curveball, curveball in the dirt or just cough up fastballs down the middle and be real friendly to your friend. But really the thing here is like, think through it. Okay, I just threw a fastball in the outside corner and they fouled off late. What pitch makes sense for me to throw next, Ooh, right? And generally a lot of these sequences that are tried and true, like soft away, hard in, those always make sense because it's hard to be on time with sequences right. like that, right? As a young player, this is what I would tell my young players. The only big rule on your pitch calling is you have to have a real reason for every pitch you throw. So I would lay the foundation for my catchers and my pitchers. I would teach them like these are the general things that you want to call when you're in a 1-1 count, where you want to set up in a 2-2 in a two -two count, in a 3-2 count, in an 0-1 count. Here are the general foundational rules and I'll link in the description below to a video where I explain that, how the either the count changes, where you set up based on location, et cetera, et cetera. Based on the first two swings this hitter has taken, yeah. what do you think they can't hit Way now? How fast does their bat speed look? Do you see a hole in their swing? Do you see some weirdness in their mechanics, right? Where do you feel you can take advantage and what pitch makes sense given the count? 
given the situation. And so when you factor in any of those things and all of them, you are gonna say, I feel like slider way is the right choice right now, or change up down the middle is the right choice here on 2-0. Oh. And oh, yeah. if you came to me as a coach and said, hey, that's why I chose this pitch, Oof, so I'd close. say, cool, no problem with it. We might still talk about what you oh, know, might have transpired run. and what Let's might go. have been a better call or whatever, yeah. but I'm still gonna say you thought through it and you had a valid reason and that's growth, right? That's development. And that's what this app can help you do. If you're sitting there with your buddy and you're really thinking, okay, I just threw him two change-ups. He swung and missed the first one. Then the second one, he hooked foul. What should I throw next, right? Maybe a curveball because I can bounce that. And that's going to give me that second, you know, still stay off speed, but I'm going to get that wrinkle in it. Or maybe that second change-up he started to get close to is like, hey, now I'm going to switch. I'm going to go fastball hard in or something like that or fastball away or I went in, in twice and now I'm gonna go away. So this can just give you some extra reps thinking through your pitch calling. And I think this is really great, especially as like within a team practice, this could be a station where the catchers and pitchers, they're doing the calling and hitters are doing the hitting and it gives them a chance just to have a little more of a game-like situation to call and think through their bat. So thanks so much for watching. Again, baseball IQ, whether it's on the pitching side or the hitting side is extremely important. And anytime there's a good way to get a little bit more work in on that, I think it's a good thing, all right? Check out the Win Reality app in the description below. And I'll link to some situational pitching videos and other sort of baseball IQ videos in the description so you can follow up with more content in that same category. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.